So how many of you have trouble riding and sitting the canter? I know that I've sure had some issues with it in the past. So what I'm gonna do in this video today is give you some really helpful solutions for learning how to sit and ride the canter. So I remember the first time I cantered on the horse, number one, I felt like I was going like this. It was something totally new to me, but number two, I felt completely out of control and I had no idea how to stay with the horse. Over the years, just through working on the canter myself and then also helping with lessons, I've found a really helpful solution to this and I'm gonna share that with you today and hopefully it will help you just as much as it's helped me. So what you should know is that there's actually three ways to ride the canter and all of these techniques are actually gonna tie into my overall point. I'm just gonna show you here standing and then I'll show you at the canter. The first way you can ride the canter is in a two point. If you've never heard of the two point, it's also referred to as the jump position. When you're going over jumps, this is the position you're gonna get in as well. The reason it's called the two point is because when you're riding and I'm just sitting here like this, I actually have three points of contact. I have both my legs, which is two, and then I have my seat, which is the other one. So that's three points. So when I'm in my two point, my butt's gonna be out of the saddle and I just have my two legs in contact with the horse. So with the two point, what you're doing is I'm just kind of putting my hands up the horse's neck a little bit. I'm gonna bend at my waist, sink my heels down and get my butt out of the saddle. So my butt's no longer gonna be touching the saddle. And so here, I still have my balance over the horse from my hip to my toe, but my hands are forward, but I'm not resting on the horse. You can see I can pick my arms up. I'm not resting on the horse at all. So this is one way you can ride the canter. The other way you can ride a canter is in a light seat. You may see this a lot in the hunt classes. A lot of hunter riders will ride in the light seat. So what the light seat is, is I'll go into my two point. So I'm bending out my waist, but my shoulders are still back. With the light seat, I'm really just gonna sink my weight down more and be more on my crotch. So I'm kind of halfway in the saddle and I can even sit up a little bit more through my chest. And so, I'm halfway sitting, that's why it's called a light seat. My hands can still be up if I want, as long as my shoulders stay back. And of course, I want the balance through my hip to my toe. Lastly is the full seat. So you're gonna see the full seat a lot in dressage. And that's where the rider has the three points of contact. They have each leg and their seat. So this is really gonna look like they're driving with their seat and like I said, it's a lot of dressage riders do this. So they'll be driving with their seat, but also giving with their hands as they canter. So now that I've walked you through all the different ways you can ride the canter, I wanna share with you the technique I've found to be the most effective in learning how to canter and sit the canter on your horse. I used to work kind of like as an assistant with a riding instructor, and the most effective way I saw them teach kids to canter is they would always start kids off in the two point. So the kids would learn to canter starting in the two point and they would just can around the ring and like the straight sides of the ring so once the riders were capable and able to can in the two point then they'd go to the half seat and from there from the half seat if they wanted to then they could learn to ride in the driving seat for dressage i find that the reason this is so effective is that when you start out in the two point learning to canter you don't have to worry about getting jostled in the saddle or feeling like you're in control because this position kind of gives you the security of not bouncing around so if you start learning to canter like this you're going to feel much more secure compared to if the first time you canter you're sitting and you're gonna be like this. And you see Tucker didn't like that. So if you're just starting to canter, I recommend you start in your two point. And once you feel confident there, you can go to a little bit more connection with your horse in your light seat. And from there, you can go to your full seat. So here are some things to know when you start to canter with your two point. So in your two point, before you even go to canter, you wanna make sure you feel secure in this position. Otherwise, if you just do the two point for the first time and start to canter, you may get really off balance because you can pitch forward and you can wiggle around. So what you really wanna do is practice this at the standstill, at the walk and the trot before you even try the canter. And when you're doing the two point, two things you wanna look out for is number one, you're not leaning on your horse's neck because you can get like this and if your horse puts their head down, you're a goner. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you're independent from your hands so that your weight is through here. And this is actually really gonna build your core muscles. So I should be able to move my hands and keep my butt at, 
out of the saddle at the same time. The next thing you want to watch for, just like with leaning with your hands, you want to keep your feet under you. So you don't want to start getting like this or like this, otherwise you're not really secure in the saddle. Another thing to be mindful of that I personally struggle with is my shoulders. If I'm in my two point, I start to drop my shoulders and I may get hunched over. So you just want to make sure you're keeping your shoulders back and you're just bending at your waist. And even for more experienced riders, riding in your two point is really good practice just to, you know, practice your balance and also just practice keeping your heels down and your weight centered. So here we are at a walk. Let's do a trot. Oh, oh gosh, this is hard. I'm pitching. So when you start in your two point, another good reason to start here with the canter is because it allows you to start to feel the horse's rhythm and the feel of the canter without getting jostled in the saddle and having to worry about your seat. So I can start to learn the rhythm as I just canter on my horse in my two point. So a great exercise for this, especially if you're just starting out, is just to canter, if you have like a long stretch of field, just to canter there, because that will give you a lot of time to feel the rhythm. Or if you're in an arena, to canter the long, straight stretches of the arena. And that way you don't have to worry about turning or anything, but you can just feel the horse's canter. So there's no right or wrong way to ride the canter as long as you're riding in these three positions. Obviously with some disciplines you may see a style of canter more than another. Like I mentioned earlier, in hunt classes you're going to see a lot of riders riding in the light seat. And if you're watching like dressage or even show jumping, you're going to see a lot of the riders driving with their seat. Either with dressage they'll just be driving with their seat to get their horse to move forward, but with show jumping you'll notice that riders definitely sit back and drive with their seat towards jumps to help the horse get over the jumps. So if you're just trying to canter and enjoy yourself and not feel out of control and not be uncomfortable for your horse, just pick the seat that works best for you. You got the two point, the light seat, the full seat. I personally ride more in the light seat because Tucker, he's a tiny pony, so it's hard to ride him in a driving seat where I feel like I'm getting jostled. And always remember, horseback riding is a work of progress. I still sometimes feel uncomfortable at the canter, and every horse is different. So with one horse, their canter is really comfortable and I feel confident. But then like I mentioned, Tucker here, he's a pony and he's quick, and so it can be hard to sit his canter. So just practice these three positions, and I'm gonna guarantee you it's definitely gonna help with your cantering. One important thing to note is if you still feel uncomfortable at the trot, you should hold off on cantering just because you want to make sure you secure and have control at the trot before you move to the next gate. So if like post trotting is something you need to work on, I have a video all about how to post trot and how to get better at post trotting. So I'll put the link in the description down below. So if you're a rider who maybe has some more experience cantering, Comment down below which position is your most favorite to canter in. Do you like the two point, the light seat, or the full seat. As always, if you got anything useful out of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.